Hello. In this lesson, we're going to talk about derivatives of exponential functions. I'm going to start with the first rule we already uh, demonstrated in the first lesson, and we should know by now. So for the exponential function y equals to e at power x, the derivative d dx of e at power x is equal to e at power x. So it's the same as the function. Remember that. Let's now learn the formula for the composed function e at power f of x. So if y equals to e at power f of x, a composite function, then the derivative d dx of e at power f of x is going to be e at power f of x times the derivative of that function, d dx of f of x. You recognize it looks very similar to what we used in the chapter where we discussed derivatives of polynomial functions. It's the chain rule that we applied here. Let's see how we actually um, demonstrate the formula such as this using the chain rule. So this function y, that is e at power f of x, let's replace this function f of x with something uh, simpler such as u. So if u is f of x, then we can rewrite this y to be equal to e at power u. Now if we derivate y in regards to u, so dy du is going to be equal to e at power u. Nothing else, because it's in regards to u, not in regards to x this time. The chain rule states that dy dx is the product of the derivatives of those functions that compose our final function. So it's going to be dy du times du dx because this du basically um, cancel out and the result being exactly what we are looking for, dy dx. We already have dy du, all we need is du dx. And this is d dx of f of x, because this is what u equals to. So now we have the two components, dy du and du dx. Let's make the product to calculate dy dx. It's going to be the first one, dy du is e at power u times du dx is d dx of f of x. Now e at power u, what is u? f of x. So e at power f of x, I'm going to continue, times d dx of f of x. And now you can recognize how this last expression is nothing else than uh, the formula I just gave you a moment ago. Let's now introduce one more rule for an exponential function y equals b at power x for any b number uh, that is positive and different than 1 and is not equal to that special number e, then the derivative d dx of b at power x is going to be b at power x just like e at power x but also multiplied by ln b, so the natural logarithm of b. Or maybe you prefer the Lagrange notation so we can use uh, that as well. Let's demonstrate that this is actually true. In order to prove this rule, I'm going to make use of the previous two uh, rules that we have proven and uh, we can use now. Using that Lagrange notation, derivative of b at power x is the same as saying I'm going to rewrite this b at power x using some of those properties of the logarithm and the e number. I can rewrite this b at power x as e at power ln b at power x. And I'm going to continue using again one of those properties of the logarithm because this x is a power in a logarithm. I can put this x in front of the logarithm so I can rewrite all that expression as derivative of e at power x times ln b. What I recognize at this expression in the parentheses is that the exponent of e, I can consider it to be a function f of x, just like in the second rule, e at power f of x. So I have already a rule to derivate something like that, and I'm going to make use of it. So using the second rule for derivating exponential functions, this derivative is going to be e at power x ln b times the derivative of that exponent, so times derivative of x ln b. The first term I'm going to rearrange it as follows, e at power ln b, everything at power x, check the properties for the power if you have any troubles understanding how is this equivalent, times this derivative 
ln b is a constant and then it's just multiplied by x. Derivative of x is 1 and because we have a constant multiple we put a constant multiple ln b times 1, derivative of x. Now what we have in this parenthesis is e at power ln b. We know this is equal to b. So we can uh, finally write that all this expression is equal to b at power x ln b. And this is what the rule stated. So we have proven another rule. Let's conclude with a final rule that will uh, encompass any exponential function basically. So we're gonna have y equals to b at power f of x. So any base other than e, obviously positive and different than 1, and the power it's an expression f of x. So then the derivative of such function is going to be d dx of b at power f of x is going to be b at power f of x times ln b times the derivative of that function f of x. Now it's easy to uh, prove this last uh, rule because we already have all the other rules that we can uh, utilize. So the derivative, so y prime, the derivative, is going to be b at power f of x prime, which is, just like before, I'm going to express uh, this as e at power ln b at power f of x. So now we can apply the derivative of e at power f of x. I'm going to continue to say e at power ln b at power f of x times the derivative of all this exponent. So derivative of ln b at power f of x. The first term is going to result to only b at power f of x times the power f of x is going to go in front of the logarithm as we know from its properties. So I'm going to write f of x times ln b and we need the derivative of this expression. I'm going to continue to say y prime equals to b at power f of x times let's derivate ln b it's a constant multiple it's not in regards to x so I'm gonna write ln b times what is left is f of x and we need the derivative of that so I'm just gonna write derivative of f of x because this can be any any function this is exactly what we said before only that I'm using Lagrange notation instead of Leibniz notation as I put in the rule you should be uh, able to switch from one notation to the, the other with this we can conclude the lesson we have the four rules that we can uh, apply to calculate the derivative of any exponential function now. Thanks for watching.